Welcome back Transformer TCG fans. Today is the day. Power Masters Summer 2022. All right. Um, now we have a lot to go over. There's about 20 five characters in total. 12 Autobots, 12 Decepticons, one Mercenary. Let's look into this. Let's let's see what I've got here. Uh, now, if you've been following me along, I tried drawing these characters over a year ago. Uh, they were just sketches. I just had some, they weren't colored or anything or barely colored. Uh, I, I kind of had them as actual cards. Uh, they didn't look great. And it was just like, boom, let's try some Power Masters. Well, I didn't like them. I didn't like the look. I didn't like how they worked. Uh, this is going to be this was a project let me tell you i think it's it's finally long finished uh it's been a long time coming so let's get into this now we're gonna here's the introduction i'm gonna go through i'm gonna show pictures of all of them this is gonna be uh and i promised thursday <laughs> originally i had a video done and uh and i edited it had the pictures in there and i didn't like the video I just didn't like it I didn't do a well presentation I didn't introduce all of them I only I went over had time for maybe to go over three characters and that might be the same thing here so let's get into this so there's we got a lot we 12 Autobots 12 Decepticons one mercenary like I said and uh, I started off with the power masters I knew we had we have Rev we have Hi-Q, or Hike, however you want to pronounce that. Um, Lube. Lube is an original from the, the G1 era. Um, Rev, Lu, Lube. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Hi-Q. Um, and Galen. Uh, Galen is an original character. He was not, well, he was a headmaster, actually. Uh, and he got he, he got killed in the comics, and Buster or Spike kind of took over ahead of Fort Max as that story went. So since we didn't get a Galen from Wizards, I'm thinking, well, let me draw a, a Galen here um, as the bot mode or in his in uniform, whatever you want to call it, however you want to. I, to me, they're just characters, Transformer characters. Uh, so Galen is not the head of Fort Max. We have a head of Fort Max, and I didn't do that with him, so I made him a Power Master. And I kind of took the head of Fort Max, kind of put it at an angle, made it look like it has an air vent. Um, so Galen was an original, but not an original Power Master. I made him a Power Master for the game. Uh, let's get into some new characters here. We have Pushrod. Uh, we have Lyra. Now, Lyra was a Marvel character, Nebulon, uh, as well as Kari. Uh, we have Lift, is a, is a new character. We have Cruiser. Cruiser is kind of interesting. I thought it was a, a neat name because I took, you know, cruising of the 50s and 60s with the big muscle cars and what the teenagers used to do back then for fun and rebellion. Boy, times were simple back then. Um, and so cruising, cruiser, spelled it uh, two O's. Boom, you have a new character. Four stroke is one. Uh, he has no hands. Uh, he's just got they, his arms and look, I mean, they're just pistons. You know, it looks like pistons. Um... And then we have Varga. Now, Lift is, we looked at, we mentioned Lift. Oh, an intercooler. I almost missed intercooler. Intercooler and Varga. Now, Lift and Varga, Varga are kind of brothers in, in a sense. I basically just flipped an image, recolored it, and to be able to make it, have another character because I felt like I needed another character to even out the Autobots and Decepticons. Uh, moving on to the Decepticons. Um... So, like I said, with Lyft and Varga, Lyft is the Autobot. Varga made him a mercenary. I'm like, I don't have any mercenaries in here. Let's, let's throw that in. 
that might be a, a bit of uh, could be problematic from what I hear having mercenary battle masters but let's just keep going um, looking in the Decepticon side here uh, we have two originals we have throttle and high test um, they, they, they can go on Dreadwing uh, if you notice their stars high test is four throttle is four Dreadwing is a total of 16 plus 8 is 24 it gives you one star left for uh, stratagem homemade stratagem maybe or just a star card in your deck um, Sorgan now we have a couple of characters from the Marvel comics who I drew their bot modes first and then tried to make an engine out of them Sorgan is one of them he was the main villain um, of the political nature with Lord Zarek who became the head of, of Scorponok if you remember um, and I think Lord Zarek's daughter or wife was Soriza and I drew her bot mode first and then her alt mode ended up looking pretty feminine even though I made this up um, so there's two Marvel characters two more Marvel characters right there uh, and then we have a lot of, of new characters like Dine uh, is based on an F1 Dine sort of uh, engine, but it was D-I-N-E, I think. And I spelled it like Dine from Lunar the Silver Star. Uh, <laughs> I'll never do that again. Um, Noisemaker was originally called No Muffler. I didn't like that. I changed, uh, so that name is final. We have six time, where is the first character? I actually drew some flames. You can kind of see see through the flames. I'll, I'll change the, the opacity on there, which kind of looks kind of cool. Um, Torque Vent um, has been a favorite because it kind of has that cone head sort of look. Uh, and Torque Vent's motor, I think I drew his bot mode first, or no, I, I drew his engine first. A lot of the other brand new engines, I drew the engines first and then tried to make bots out of them. If they were a Marvel comic character, I tried to draw their bot modes first based on looking at their actual uh, artwork from the old comic and then made engines out of their bot modes. Uh, so there's Torque Vent, V's Twin, Manifold. He was called something different. His final name is Manifold. Um, and then we have Gearbox. So let, I only have time. I don't have a lot of time here, guys. So let, let's look at two. Uh, let's look at Galen. And then we'll look at a, a Decepticon. Uh, Galen is a Power Master. This is how this is going to go. Now that we've introduced the Power Masters, every single one of them. It's going to be a, some, some heavy work on the post-edit side of this. Uh, he's Power Master under the name... You're going to see Power Master, and then you're going to see the engine name that they per turn into when they're KO'd. Okay, so if you're in the Dropbox, I'm going to have two different Dropboxes. Power Masters for the Autobots, and I'll include Varga over there as well. And then uh, Dropbox for the Power Masters for the Decepticons. So you're not just going to have 50-something images thinking, oh my gosh, i got to put this puzzle together. So at least they're going to be separated by faction. Okay, so Galen turns into the Arvasian engine. If you look, I, I went into the TF Wiki uh, or the Transformer web, or uh, there's a couple of different sites that we have for sources. You're going to see some neat, not just Transformer lore, but engine terms and some things that I pull from to make, to kind of match the craziness of Wizards Battlemaster upgrades. Okay. Um, and if you look some of this stuff up, if you're not engine savvy, you might learn something. <laughs> I learned a few things myself. So let's get into it. Galen is a battle master trait and a leader. Um, I didn't give the leader trait to many characters. Okay. Uh, it's a four star character with two to attack, two health, and two defense. Now how you're probably going to want to play these battle masters are gonna might be opposite of the other other battle masters, other battle masters. Uh, the wizards ones you normally wanted to get knocked out first. You know, try to get them to where your enemy can go into them quickly. Um, 
so they can immediately get put in use a quartermaster bring them bring them back in if you can quartermasters will work with these guys too okay so because they're simply battle masters you cannot have more than one in your in, in your on your team because they are going to start in bot mode a battle master begins on bot mode and can't flip when ko play its upgrade side these do not go in your deck like the arc is trying to do all right uh, so these are character cards. They have star counts. Okay, so Galen is a leader, four stars. He does have Pierce One and Bot Mode. Now I didn't do this. I didn't give many of these characters Pierce One, Bold One, Safeguard, Tough, whatever. Uh, I didn't give anybody Sturdy that I know of. So or anything like that, or anything new or crazy. But look, there's there's a new term here, but it's going to be on the upgrade side. So that's Galen. He turns into the Arvasian engine. Check the Marvel history. You'll see where I kind of pulled that from. So let's look at his, his upgrade, which is a battle master. It looks pretty cool. All their, these guys are going to turn into a utility like private turbo board did. And I think we had another battle master that also turned into a utility. Uh, if you have Buddy's made, Buddy made that armor card extra, I uh, forgot what he called it, has Will Jack on it that I made for him that allows you to have two utilities on one character. Yeah, I guess you could have two of these on one character, but you're going to be really trying to get that done right. Um, uh, that might be problematic. I don't know. Uh, so when you put this on a leader character, do one damage to each enemy. If your leader is knocked out, you can still put it on any character, but if it doesn't have the leader trait, you're not going to get that armed hovercraft effect, okay? Uh, but he's going to uh, be able to give anybody he's on plus one to attack, plus one health, which isn't much, and plus one defense. Um, so he, there's that. Um, so... We have three parts to their upgrades. One, when this when this gets put on, boom, something immediately is going to happen. Uh, then two, there's the crank. The crank is a new term where, okay, short story, long story short, my grandfather was one of about eight kids. Uh, their parents got a, like a Model T when they were brand new way back when, okay? My grandfather always told the story that the kids were the ones that were told to had to go get out of the car and go to the front and crank the car up. Yeah. And he said, if you weren't quick enough when the engine actually started, it could break your arm because it would try to come backwards. And it really looked like a crank, you know? That's where the term cranking our car comes from. Okay, so thus crank and crank what power masters are what I, from the very beginning. What I really wanted them to do is they're going to help accentuate or add to the engine of the game, flipping cards during attack and defense. So it's going to help you uh, with, with your with your battling. It's not going to be much. The most crank I have on anybody is crank three, maybe. So you're going to see crank one, crank two, crank three. So if you see crank three. Two, you're going to see flip two more. Well, how are you going to flip two more? It depends on how you've built your deck. Uh, aggressive decks, mixed decks, defensive decks, defensive pierce, etc. So uh, looking at the Arvasian engine, crank two, and at least black, blue, or flip for battle, not each time, at least. If you don't see the word at least, it needs to be inferred. I may have been just trying to save space, uh, but for the most part, when at least... Black, blue, or flipped, flip two more. So you flip the white, flip two more. You, 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 he had Arvasian engines on a character. Uh, you flip black and blue, flip two more. So two for battle, two for white, two for the Arvasian engine. Yes, you just uh, flipped six cards. Have you added your bold yet? You get a lionizer on the same character as a weapon. What, what is that, bold three, bold four? So, wow, it's going to help the battle of the game because that's the engine of the game ding okay power masters now that the the when you put the crank in three while this is on a character in alt mode it cannot flip to bot mode 
So when I mean it, I mean the equipped character. I wasn't about to type that out again. So for the sake of redundancy and for the sake of grammar and for the sake of room and card. When this is on a character in alt mode, does it have to go in a character in alt mode? No. If you put this on six star leader official Bumblebee, he can be in he can be in bot mode. You can put him in bot uh, put the Arvasion engine on him in bot mode. He's a leader. He's going to um, like an armed hovercraft do one damage to all the enemy. If he flips to alt mode to get get his trigger in, and he still has on the Arvasion engine, he cannot flip back. That's the point. If your opponent uh, plays a crushing size, a vaporizer, or whatever that is able to uh, go, ha ha, um, you know, that has to come off because of whatever I've played or whatever I've done or et cetera, et cetera. Then it comes off. Okay. And you can now flip Bumblebee back to bot mode. Okay. Things to think about, new strategies, things, uh, to try to maybe incorporate into the game thinking, how can I take advantage of this? Okay, so that's that. Let's look over one more character. That's all I got time for, guys. I've already gone a little long. Let's look at um, let's look at Sorgan or Sorgen. Uh, again, he he's a, a, a four star character, kind of like Galen, and again like Sorgan. I mean, like Galen, Sorgan is two to attack, two health, two defense, battle master, and leader. Uh, he has bold one. So you can already flip three for attack with Sorgan, who is a Power Master and Nebulin E606 5.0 liter W311, uh, which is mixing Transformer lore with actual engine types or names. So let's look at the Nebulin blah, 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 um, if I can find it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The Nebulin E606 5.0 liter W311. It's a utility battle master when you put this on a Decepticon. Okay, uh, so scrapping enemies upgrade. So when Sorgan gets KO'd, play his upgrade side, boom. Whether you KO this yourself, by some method of using the cards to be able to do that, like original Battle Masters, then you can do this on your turn. If not, if your opponent knocks out Sorgan and you get to put the Nebulin E606, etc., on a Decepticon, you can scrap one of their upgrades. Either way, okay? He has Crank 3. Um, and this is one of those where I did later in the creation, so. It doesn't have at least, uh, but it doesn't say each either. It, it should be inferred as at least. So black, green, white for battle, flip three more. This is my truncated version. You're not going to see this very often, but it, you still need to think when at least black, green, white are flipped for battle, flip three more. So each time you see black, green, white, doesn't mean you flip three more or six more or nine more. No, flip three more. That's it. Uh, so yes, it goes for attack. It goes for defense. Uh, and the cranks can go is for any character because it's an upgrade. It's an, it's helping out a character because I gave it crank three. It he does not have he does not give any attack or defense or even help. He just gets. Crank three, and he's able to scrap an upgrade from an, in, an enemy opponent. So that was uh, Sorgan and Galen. That's all I have time for. We've started this process. So many more to go through. I'm really excited. We finally got to this point. Um, are these tested? No. I think they'll be okay, though, because you're going to see a lot of different things here. Some nice stats, some not-so-nice stats, like Sorgan but he does have a crank three. You can see what characters these might be good for, what decks they might be good for to be able to get those cranks to be able to accentuate flipping more cards during battle. 
Uh, now, for the most part, all of them do say, except for maybe two or three, the, the cranks are going to be for battle, not for attack, for, not for defense. I know there's at least two char one or two characters that say, um, you know, crank something for attack and then crank something for defense. I'll let you keep that to your imagination. You probably know who. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. More Power Masters to come. It's started. Yes. With that, thanks for having, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Have not just a good day, have a great day and a blessed day. And in the meantime, we'll catch you on the next side. Let's flip out and let's roll for it.